the Liberal Democratic Party, the party that's governed Japan almost interrupted for the last seven, six or seven decades or so, uh, will stay in government thanks to a coalition with its uh, junior partner, um, a small party called Komeito. But this is, a, this is Kishida's first test, and it's one that he's barely passed. Obviously, the uh, official results won't be in for another few hours until uh, the early hours of Monday morning, but exit polls by NHK, the public broadcaster, and several other news organizations are forecasting that the LDP could lose something between 20 and even up to as many as 60 plus uh, seats. But again, because of its dominance in the lower house and its coalition with Cometo, the coalition government is expected to survive, um, but only by the skin, skin of its teeth. Um, it's certainly safe to say that Kishida will not uh, have been very happy when he saw those exit poll results come in. It really, um, it, it's really going to depend on how dependent the Liberal Democratic Party is uh, on its junior coalition partner. But Kishida said in the run-up to the election, um, first of all, you mentioned the coronavirus. Obviously, he wants to um, introduce a stimulus package to guide the world's third biggest economy out of uh, the pandemic. He's talked about redistributing income to Japan's struggling middle classes. But where he could um, come a cropper is on the defence front. Now, the LDP has said in its election platform that it wants to, quite controversially, double defence spending from 1% to 2% of GDP. Now, that's quite popular within the LDP, but the Cometo party, its, its, uh, its coalition partner, is a more, rather more dovish partner. It has links to a nationwide Buddhist org organization. So Kishida could encounter resistance to that. And that's really the last thing he wants, with tensions rising in the Taiwan Straits between uh, China and Taiwan. And of course, North Korea now resuming uh, ballistic missile tests. So Kishida, I think, um, if he is certain that the LDP and the coalition have retained their majority, will probably jump on a plane and go to the COP3 uh, summit in Glasgow. But when he gets back, uh, he'll have uh, several important and key domestic and foreign policy challenges on his desk.